here we have uh, 40 times 10 to the power 3 plus by v as a function of x is equal to 0. v x as a function of x is equal to minus 40 times 10 to the power 3. Okay. Okay. So this is this is straightforward. I mean, the, the advantage of using, so this is, uh, uh, sorry, I have to write down right to left analysis, okay, right to left. Before that, I was doing left to right, okay? So now we do right to left, okay? Then we have our moments, dimensional moment, in z direction and in where point x is equal to zero so the red pink dot is where we take our moment so this will be anti-clockwise is 40 times 10 to power 3 then we have uh, 4 minus x okay minus m as a function of x the whole thing is equal to zero so m as a function of x is equal to minus 40 times 10 to the power 3 x. Okay. And then wait, uh, so uh, no, no, it's going to be, yeah. And plus by 160 times 10 to the power 3. Okay. So this is our equation. So in fact, this is an equation, sorry. So this is our equation number five, equation number six. We put everything together. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 40 times, minus 40 times 10 to power three, sorry, minus 40 times 10 to power three. And the last one will be minus 40 times 10 to power three x plus by 160 minus 40 times 10 to power three x plus by 160. So these are all our shear force and bending moment equation. So now we can sketch. Okay, now we can sketch. Okay. As I said, this is a recall for both those of you that could, uh, did your shear force and bending moment quite a while ago. Okay. Then we, we do our sketch of our shear force and bending moment equation. I'm going to take the whole thing. Yeah, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, and I'm going to paste. Okay. Okay, so we are going to sketch our, using the equations, we are going to sketch our shear force, okay? So if I look at our shear force, we don't need, so this is the, scale that I'm going to use. Okay, so this is V. I'm stand about three Newton. Okay. So it's going to be our uh, 80, 60, 40, 20, 0, minus 20, minus 40. Is that enough? Yeah, it's enough. Then we have our distance. Our distance is straightforward. So this is uh, 0 0.8, 1 1.6, uh, 2.4, 3 3.2, okay. yeah, 0.6, 3.2, and 4.0. So this is our x distance. Oi, oi. So we know that at point A, shear force is zero. A to B, you have negative slope. And at point A, it is at minus, uh, uh, minus, oh, hold on. I think I got point A wrong, sorry. Probably one of this is wrong. At point B, 
I beg your pardon, okay? I think I did something wrong at point B. At point B. Minus 50 power 3 times 1.8 plus 120 power 3. At point B. 50 power 3 times 1.8. So this is minus 40 times 10 to power 3. And then, oh, it's correct. Nothing is wrong. Sorry. So if we use equation uh, from A to B, right? So 50 times by 0.3 or 50 power 3 times by 0.8 is minus 40. Okay. So we have minus 40 going down here. But because of the reaction at point B, right? At point B, we have 120 going up, right? So we have a force coming up at point A at 0 0.8. So how it looks like is from A to B, you have an equation coming down here. Okay. And then at point B, because of the reaction at point B, which is 120, it's going to push it up 120 from minus 40, you get your what? You get your 80. Okay. And then at 3.2, you're going to see the minus 40. And then the graph comes down again. Okay. And then it goes horizontal. And then it goes to zero. Okay. So the relationship with shear force and bending moment diagram is this. Okay. There's, there's one relationship that I'm going to write down. When shear force is equal to zero. So for this case, there are two possibilities, right? There are two places where shear force crosses zero. One is at 0 0.8, and the other one is at where? 2.4, okay? There is a possibility that bending moment will be at its what maximum okay there is this possibility okay so now we're going to sketch our uh bending moment diagram okay so we're going to sketch our bending moment diagram So we are going to use uh, m, okay. So times ten to about three newton meter, minus sixteen. And over here, our x. Okay. So again, I'm going to use the same scale: 0 0.8, 1.6, 2.4, 3 3.2, and 4. And we know that at the extreme, the bending moment is equal to zero. Okay. So if we look at the equations, okay, at point eight, we have a Minus 16, okay, minus 16. And then if we look from A to B, okay, we have to look at A to B equation. Okay, I, I try to, from A to B, right, you have a minus 15 times 10 to the power 3 x squared, okay? Second order polynomial, 
the highest polynomial function is negative, so it's going to be set phase. Okay. But before I do that, remember what I highlight to you earlier, right? When it crosses zero, when the shear force crosses zero, there's a possibility that the bending moment is going to be at its maximum. So there's two points of interest out here. One at 0 0.8, the other one at 2.4. Okay. So the next set of equation, right, is going to be 0 0.8 to 3.2, right? And is also going to be set phase. Okay. But we know that we we need to do something to the 2.4 because 2.4 is where you have the maximum what? Bending moment occurring. So if we were to look at the equation from point B to C, right? So we know that V between point B to C, right? We have V as a function of X is equal to minus 50 times 10 to the power 3 plus by 120 times 10 to the power 3. And we want it to be equal to 0 to find our X value, right? I know from the graph, we know it's 2.4. Okay. Sorry, I got too excited over here. So X plus by 120 times 10 to the power 3. So x over here is equal to 120 power 3 divided by uh, 50 power 3 is equal to 2.4. Okay, like what we like what we have met, uh, we have seen in the what shear force diagram 2.4 meters. So mx is equal to so we are going to use using equation or using equation number uh, four, right? We know that mx is equal to minus 25 times 10 to power three, uh, 2.4 squared, plus by 120 times 10 to power three, multiplied by 2.4, Minus by 96 times 10 to about 3. That's why 2.4 squared plus by 120 power 3 times 2.4 minus by 96 power 96 power 3 is equal to 48. Positive 48 times 10 to power 3. So we know that at 2.4, we are going to reach 48. And then I'm very cautious at 3.2. Okay, so 3.2 is where we're at point C. The shear is at the the bending at 32. Okay, so let me get back to the graph. Okay, it's going to be at 32. Okay, and then it's going to drop down to zero. Okay, so now we're going to sketch this. So we're going to sketch. You hit the peak. It will come down and then we go to zero. Okay. So now we have sketched the shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay. So where are we going to analyze? <laughs> All right. Remember what I told you, the maximum shear force and the maximum bending moment, right, will not be at the same location, right? So we have to check. So the most obvious three points to check is these three points. Okay. First point to check is this location over here. So if, if, if I were to bring in the, the our diagram okay we are going to check at point b we are going to check at this point where we have our tau max oh sorry our maximum moment 
But you realize that when we have our maximum moment, our shear stress is equal to what? Zero. Right? Our shear force is equal to zero. And then the next point, I'm going to check over here why I pick this point over here. Because at this point, we also have what? We also have our shear force. Okay? So we have to check these three locations. Okay? And then the formulas are still the same. I think the checking is the easy part. It's the location of where to check is the difficult part. It's not difficult. You can see the procedure is very uh, fixed. It's straightforward. So I hope this will help you recall your shear force and bending moment diagram and the equations. Okay? And in one last thing, in the bending moment, what does bending positive bending moment means and what does compression bending moment means? Okay? Based on deformation pattern, I just need one more minute, okay? Okay, based on deformation pattern, okay? Positive bending moment means your deformation is smiling face, okay? And then negative bending moment means the deformation pattern is negative. So if you were to see, just quickly, okay? I, I know it's a bit more than a minute. I want you to see this, okay? So if we have this beam and I try to stretch it to the right geometry, right? By looking at the deformation pattern uh, or, or, or the magnitude of the deformation, you can more or less sketch how the structure is deformed. So the structure will be deformed this way and then coming down this way and then smiling face again and then go back here. <laughs> By looking at the what? Bending moment diagram. Okay? I'll see you guys on Monday. We're going to calculate a tree location and we're going to start on a new topic. It's going to be you criteria using 3D mole circle, which you have done. Okay? Have a fantastic weekend. And then uh, next week, the quiz will be on shaft. Okay? Okay, shaft design were be on the next quiz. Okay, have a great weekend.